Decentralized but not open source. How? That's what someone's asking. Once again, motherfuckers don't know nothing. Okay, Uniswap V2. New license or Apache license, you can do whatever you want with that shit. Okay, Uniswap V3. Dun, dun, dun. Change the fucking license. You can't do whatever you want now. They are the only people to get to use Uniswap V3 for two years. And then after two years, you can you do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, so hold up a second, hold up a second. So Uniswap V3 isn't actually open source. Oh, that's correct. And how's it doing? It's doing amazing. Okay. What computer are you talking to me on? Apple or Microsoft? Oh, Apple. Okay. Is that shit open source? Oh, of course not. No! No, it's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But we the know most the successful software in the motherfucking don't world. Compare a laptop. Don't throw a laptop in the mix. No, it's the most successful software in the fucking world. I'm going to throw it in the mix. You could have had a Linux desktop. This That's year's fair. The year okay, the Linux desktop. No, you fucking can't. That shit sucks. Open source software in general sucks dicks. In general. Which is the reason motherfuckers don't use it. You play any open source games? No. You use an open source fucking OS? No. You got open source on your phone? We're we going to pretend Android is open source? We could pretend, I guess. No. Closed source runs the fucking world, and people that was open source are switching that way. Ask Uniswap about it. If you want to compete and you want to be able to buy users and you want to have a growing enterprise, you got to have a walled garden. How the fuck are you going to create a walled garden? Patents and intellectual property. And what is the opposite of that? Open source. So I don't give a fuck about open source personally. Okay. For me, I like to make money and I like other people to make money, and that means fuck open source in general. In general. Now, sometimes there's exceptions. Sometimes there's exceptions. Okay? So, let's take Bitcoin. People think Bitcoin is Bitcoin. They're fucking stupid. I got to educate them. Bitcoin is not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a collection of open source shit that allows it to exist. When Bitcoin was first released, there wasn't no motherfucking Linux client. There was only a Windows client. Oh, you on Linux? You want to open source software? You want to run Windows? Fuck you. You can't run no Bitcoin on no Linux because the shit didn't exist. You can only run it on Windows, because that's the only shit it existed on. Oh, so what do we got today? We got Bitcoin Core. Okay, let's run Bitcoin Core. Double click, Bitcoin Core. QT opens up. What's QT? An open source GUI system that Bitcoin uses to fucking allow people to operate it visually. Open source. Oh, okay. What about the database? I thought blockchain, I thought Bitcoin was a database. Nope, no bitch. Hate to break it to you. Bitcoin is just an abstraction layer. There's actually another database inside Bitcoin that actually does all the motherfucking database work. Used to be Berkeley DB, but then they switched that shit for another system called Level DB. Also open source. Same with the fucking the cryptography. Used to use Open OpenSSL. OpenSSL was a little bit slow. Somebody built something better called LibSec P256K1. Guess what? We use that shit now open source. So Bitcoin is just a collection of open source as software that most motherfuckers are too stupid to know what those things are inside of it. And then the network itself appears to be open source. But guess what, dog? It's actually not. It's actually not. Some people tried to build on top of Bitcoin called Counterparty at XCP. Failed project. Yeah, I know you're about to you go developers. This whole developer thing. And guess what? The Bitcoin motherfucker stabbed him right in the back. And he's like, oh, I you're encoding. To, I knew you were about to go there. Yeah. <laughs> he stabbed him right in the back. Like, oh, you're trying to build on top of Bitcoin. You're trying to program around this money. You're trying to use this programmable money to make programmable money. Oh, shit. We can't have that. We can't have that. So let's limit the size of the text you can put in these transactions. Let's limit the opcode size to fuck over counterparties so they can't build on Bitcoin. And that's what it did.